Hello. Welcome back. This is lesson five, if you're keeping up. If you got online and you looked and you joined our class through YouTube, uh, I, you saw that I mentioned a graduation bag. Well, our graduation bags are going to consist of the things that we use in these lessons. So here is your little bag. This is a four-in-one tool. <clears throat> I said four-in-one, and I'll show you the reason. Because you have a regular spoon, you have a slotted spoon, you have a flat edge, which makes it a turner, and you also have a serrated edge to where you can chop up like fruits, like bananas, things like that. This would be good if you're working with your children in the kitchen because they can use that and it's multi-tool. This is a little oh, dish scrubbing. It is blue and white, it has UK on it. You put your dish washing liquid down in here and it will go when you scrub your dishes. It works on so that it won't scratch your uh, nonstick surfaces. So that's gonna be in your bags. These are, and these are wonderful, and I'm going to show you a trend. These are just uh, collapsible measuring cups. And you can see that they are attached. They also have this wonderful little hanger. For those of us who, like myself, don't have a lot of storage space in our cabinets, we can use these and uh, you can do a little dowel rod or a little eye hook or whatever, and you can hang these up, and these aren't cluttering up your utensil drawer. You will have a set of those in your bag. Oh. Oh, well. Same thing with the little hole for your measuring cups. These measuring cups stay together. You can pull them apart if you just need one. They will come apart, snap them right back together. You have Excuse me. You have the neat little hole that you can stack and you can put them on an eye hook or uh, a little dowel rod that you have somewhere hanging up. Okay? This is a, notice the hole that you can pick it up. This is the same thing as the thing, uh, the measuring cup. It is collapsible to where you can hang it up and it's space safe for those of us who don't have a lot of cabinet space. This is just a little simple spatula that you can use. World's best pizza cutter. Uh, I'm not gonna open this one, but I will show you these. They come apart. Just stick it in there. It's made of plastic. It's not gonna cut you. Your children can use this. It comes apart for great cleaning. It is dishwasher safe. You will have one of these in your graduation bag. We talked about one of our first classes about never going to the grocery store without making out a list. And this is a magnet. It'll stick to your refrigerator. And it has even the different things, like the grains, the vegetables, the fruits, so that you can make sure that you're getting all the mud plate in that you can possibly get. These are probably the best little cutting boards you'll ever have. Green courses for fruits and vegetables. They're flexible. Uh, you can stack them up inside the cabinet, put them right out of the way. You will get two. You will get one for fruits and vegetables, and of course this is our red for meats. You don't want to use this one to cut your meats and then turn around and cut your vegetables because that's food contamination, which brings us to today's lesson. It is food safety. And one of, you know, we go to picnics and we go this and that and you eat. And if you've ever gotten sick after eating in a restaurant, or you've got uh, sick from eating something that may have been out too long, it's bacteria in your food. 
The best way to prevent bacteria from growing in your food is to know where it needs to be. In your bag, you will get a cook safe. It will give you the proper temperatures to cook beef, lamb, and pork, ground meats, chicken and turkey, fish, leftover casseroles, and egg dishes. You will also receive this little meat thermometer. To put meat thermometers, you put it in the thickest part of the meat that you're cooking to get a proper reading. And you can do two or three different places. That way you're doubly sure, okay? So, here's today's edition. For our recipe today, again, we're going back to our calendar, going back a couple years, this is 2018. This is chicken parmesan. This is super, super easy to make and it will become a family favorite. And again, I'm giving you your protein so you can build your meal around your protein. So for this little thing, you just need a little plate. We have on our little plate, we have our little spices that we're going to use. You need two teaspoons of garlic powder. Just put it on the plate. You need one teaspoon of onion powder. Throw it right in there. This is Italian seasoning. If you want to buy this in the store, you can buy it pre-made. Or, on this recipe, it gives you the ingredients to make to make a low sodium version of Italian seasonings. And we're just gonna pour this right over here. And then we're gonna take this little mixing spoon, because here's our teaspoon, and we're just gonna mix this together. Right? And then, after we get the seasonings done, this is our half a cup of Parmesan cheese, which makes your chicken Parmesan. So again, add that. Stir it in together. And you have chicken. This is chicken tenderloin. Uh, I bought them already sliced. You don't have to do that. You can buy in bulk. You can buy in bulk. You can break it down. It saves money. It helps on your food budget. Because you can buy your proteins in bulk and bring them down into smaller quantities that you can use. What you're going to do is you're going to just take a cooking spray and you're going to spray the chicken. The reason you're doing the chicken is because you want your uh, seasonings to stick. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cover this chicken. Now this recipe says use a pound. And I think a pound and a half. Yeah, pound and a half of either split chicken breast or chicken tender ones like I have here. Now, you're, this one you have to bake. It bakes for 30 minutes. If you want it to brown, then you can put it on broil after it's baked for 30 minutes and it will brown for you. Once you get your pound and a half of chicken covered, put it on a greased cookie sheet or baking sheet. Put it in your oven for 30 minutes. Your house is going to smell wonderful. I made these earlier today, and everybody in the office has said what wonderful smell it has. So, I'm going to retro-ray this. And with